name is C and welcome back to my channel. Over the time period of around a month, my Tumblr has been absolutely spammed with so many questions. So I thought I may as well answer all your questions through a video rather than an iPhone screen. Last week I posted a photo and in the caption I just stated that I was going to be making this video and I got you guys to comment your questions down below. And so over the weekend, I have picked 11 questions that were frequently asked and asked on my Tumblr quite a fair bit. So I've picked 11 that you guys have asked me and then I'll be answering them today for you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Yes, I am actually working right now and I am working part time. I'm literally just a receptionist at a club and it is obviously not what I want to be doing for the rest of my life. But right now it is good and it is helping me. It's obviously bringing in enough income and it is because we're really quiet and I'm sitting at the desk with my laptop. It helps me to put a lot of time into my social media and my blogs and my YouTube and essentially that's what I do want to be doing a lot of online stuff yes I was studying interior designing but that's I don't know I just kind of got bored with it I literally got so bored with it and it's a passion of mine but I don't know if I want to be doing it as a career so I am planning to study my personal training course and like I it's not I don't think I want to be a personal trainer I don't really know I just know that I want to start with this and see where it leads me I guess but I'm just waiting until I move into my new house which is about a week and a half away now oh my god so excited so I'm just gonna wait until I move into my house because like then I can have my Wi-Fi set and then I'll have my office and it'll just be so much easier because I do want to be doing a lot of it at home my study because I want to also have time to work on my YouTube and on my social media accounts and I'm just too lazy to go to uni every single day. <laughs> okay so I have one, uh, two, oh my god did I show? Three, four tattoos I think. Yeah I, I just have four tattoos and I get asked this question a lot and it's it's really funny I don't know why people care but yeah I'll this is I'll show you my tattoos so this one I've I've shown in my last question and answer video, so I'll just show again just because this is a more updated version and this is the new me, new video. <laughs> so this is, um, this was my first tattoo. Oh my god, I can't orange, my hands are. <gasps> so this was, oh my god, why can't I turn my ears out? This was my first tattoo, focus. Okay, anyway, so it is, that's just the eating disorder symbol and this represents like freedom. So I got it like three, four years ago now and it's just basically me saying woohoo freedom from an eating disorder and obviously that has come. <laughs> this is a cross that is a home job and I got this with a friend of mine when we were like 16, how embarrassing and it just re represents kiss. And like X and O, like kiss and cuddle, but none of us wanted the O, so we both got a kiss, so we both have kiss kiss, so it doesn't actually make sense, but you don't really think you're gonna make a video about it in the future. Okay, this one I got with another friend of mine. She's beautiful and I'm still friends with her to this day. She has hers on her foot and I decided to get mine here. And it just represents like obviously an arrow, it's always moving forward, and I like to think of it think of it as the arrow is moving forward whilst always being present. So basically I am always moving forward but being mindful of the present. So you know when you like an arrow and it goes and it keeps going, it's going forward but you're staying here, you're present. Mind, present. I don't know if that makes any sense. And this one, this one is really embarrassing. Okay, I, I wasn't going to tell you guys but I'm gonna be real with you all. I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna be raw, okay? I was young, I was stupid, and I had a boyfriend at the time, and yeah, he, um, it's his birthday. <laughs> Guys, don't judge, okay? I was young, we all do silly stuff. He said he would pay for it if I got it, so I got it, and he didn't actually get me on him at all. <laughs> So yeah, I got pretty rotted with that, but <clears throat> we're not, this is gonna be our secret. We're not gonna tell anybody, all right? All right, is that okay? No one. <laughs> My 
my goals for my future career I really am so unsure about I am basically just all up in the air with it I know obviously like I said I'm not going to be doing a receptionist job for the rest of my life I am wanting to put my all on social media and YouTube and make a blog and I'm not really sure what I want to be doing but I am wanting to be doing something where it is going to help people I'm either going to be a mindfulness coach or to help people with nutrition or to help people with any like mental disorders or anything like that just to share my experience and knowledge towards it because i know that what i am doing right now is helping people imagine if i can make a career out of it where i can actually put my all to it and all my energy towards it because i love making youtube videos i love helping you guys i love talking to you guys i love every platform where i can connect with you guys and if i can actually be putting all my attention towards it rather than working part-time i will be able to get so much more out of it and so would you guys and i'll be able to give so much more energy towards it i definitely want to be doing something online i'm not too sure what it is yet already know I have been vegan for a few years now and at first my family was a bit sketchy towards it and that was purely because I had an eating disorder at the time and they just thought it was another form of restriction and I even had mixed emotions towards it because at the start it was it was another form of restriction for me and just another like semi safe thing to turn to I also wanted to turn vegan because I knew it was going to help me in some sense and I knew it was actually good for my mindset because I don't know about you guys but in the in a normal fitness community where they're carnivores and they eat meat they always a dieting so they're like intimidate fasting or they're low carb or they're always doing something where it's a form of restriction and i feel like the vegan community where they're healthy or not they don't diet they promote abundance and eating and nourishing and i was really drawn to that because i did want to get better and i wanted to be healthy and if i was constantly having to think of numbers and think of a diet to be healthy this is just me guys this is just what i thought towards eating meat and in some sense it is if you are eating meat it, it isn't healthy so you will have to restrict these type of foods to be able to live a healthy lifestyle and the form of restricting in any sense was just not good for my mindset the vegan lifestyle how it promoted abundance and nourishment and i was just really drawn to that and i just that did it really did help me mentally and i just made my parents aware of that and slowly down the track they did see how it helped me mentally not only did they see how it helped me mentally they seen how it helped me physically and they were just they supported me the whole entire way and I absolutely loved it and to this day if anything I've actually shown them how to be healthy and how to incorporate more veggies and more vegetarian meals into their life and they are really loving it and like my dad he is such a big meat eater like big protein big meat big like whey shakes and stuff and he is now so open towards veganism and now to this day he actually does say that the vegan lifestyle is somewhat the best for a human's body and i never thought he was going to say that and that's just purely because he has watched me flourish and he has watched me thrive so yes i am single i'm not looking for anyone i'm just open if you know what i mean but I've had so many like relationship fails in the past where now I know what I am actually looking for and how I can connect better with people in relationships. And I've had so many boyfriends in the past where there's, there's the lights are on but nobody's home. Like there's no conversation happening and it's literally just like, how does work? Oh, it's hot today. What are we gonna make for dinner? Do you wanna watch a movie? How are ya? No conversation happening whatsoever. I love conversation making. I love talking about life, legitimate things, and I love growing with someone. So I want to be pushing them to grow and I want them to be pushing me. So I'm just looking for really someone that has respect, cares about me, loves me, makes me feel like number one. I wanna feel like number one. So he's gotta make me feel like number one. And I wanna have, a conversation like I want to have a really good conversation with a guy that I generally feel connected to because that's what I'm all about I'm all about connections and I'm all about conversations and if I can find someone where I can grow with them 
and have a relationship with them, boy and girl relationship with them, and they can have them qualities, yeah. I'ma marry him. And obviously, you know, like he's gotta have like some income coming in. He's gotta, you know, be above a seven or an eight. And to be honest, like I'm not like really specific on like what they've gotta look like. I'm kind of open towards it all. A nice dark man with dark hair, dark features, dark skin with dark babies would be really lovely. <laughs> To be honest, I don't have much hate in my body, especially towards humans and people. But ever since I have been hanging with my best friend Tiff, like every single day, I've started to realize how good a friendship can be and how shit materialistic friendships are, if you know what I mean. My number one pet hate, I should say, with friends, people, whatever, is when they're not focused. So if you're talking to them and they're like, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah. Why are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is anyone in there? Or people that don't actually speak their words, so they're like just agreeing or they're just saying what they think they want you to hear in a way. I love when people have their own opinions and they're okay to express that. Obviously, they don't have to be bitchy about it, but if they can express that. I obviously don't like rude people. Rude people, I just, I don't, I, are they still a thing? Is there still rude people out there? I don't know. Oh my god, hello? Okay, so this question has been asked quite a fair bit. So, obviously I did lose my period when I got sick and yes, that is a part of... That does happen if you restrict yourself from nourishment you restrict yourself from food your hormonal balance is like this and it goes crazy and you yes you lose your period your body is like slowly shutting down it's it's awful and yes that did happen to me i lost my period i lost it probably like the first year that i kind of realized i had an eating disorder in a way so i lost it when i was um 16 i think yeah 16 and i am now 20 turning 21 and i still do not have it. But you need to remember that I've only actually physically started to get better in the last eight months or so. And and I have done my research and apparently as long as it took you to damage your body, that's how long it takes you to heal your body. So yeah, fortunately I still have quite a while to go until my body is fully healed and I still have like obviously there's a lot of a lot of weight that I want to put on a lot of size and I feel like when I feel like when that happens my body will start to actually heal itself a lot more and a lot quicker right now I am at a healthy BMI and I am at a normal weight for someone like my height I am okay but I'm obviously not where I want to be at and I know the more size I put on and the more nourishment I give myself the healthier my body is going to be and then hopefully then my periods will come back no i am not worried a lot of people ask me if i'm worried and if they think that i'll never get it back because i know that i will get it back and i do have positive thoughts towards this i'm not worried i know that my body is somewhat suffering without it and like i still to this day i feel like i still have like hormonal levels like i feel like i know when i am on my period or supposed to be on my period i'm just obviously not creating that blood flow that i should be i'm just obviously not creating that blood flow that i should be and yeah i'm not worried i know that i will get that but no i do not have it as of yet unfortunately If I got to choose to go somewhere right now with somebody, it would definitely be Greece. It is literally me in a country and I'll go with my best friend Tip at the moment because I know that the both of us would just oh, love it and just enjoy each other's company so much. And, and I know we wouldn't get sick of each other because we basically are with each other 24 seven now anyway. And I know if we're doing it over in Greece, it wouldn't be any different. If anything, it'd be so much better and we would have so much more fun. And oh my God, I just want to go to Greece. a weird child i was really weird i don't know like okay so um well i i had this i don't know i had this pain problem like i don't know if it was a real problem i think i made it up in my mind but i constantly needed to pee and i'm not talking about every hour or so i'm talking about every second i would pee and i still needed to pee like it was a thing it was really bad in primary one time i peed myself in the class and i think that just scarred me 
Like the teacher didn't allow me to go to the toilet and I peed myself and I think that just scarred me to make me think that I always needed to pee. So I literally had to hang next to the toilet at recess and lunch and then it got worse. So I, I lived in the toilet. I lived in the schoolgirls toilet all through primary. I would have my lunch in there, I'd hang there by myself and I enjoyed it actually. I liked it. I don't think that was weird. Oh, and there was this one time, I think I was in year four, year five. So like, I had a brain. I wasn't stupid. And like, I think that's the age I started to, I don't know, smell. I get odor. And I, I started to smell myself. And I obviously didn't put deodorant on that morning because it was still a new routine for me. It was still something that I had to learn to do every single day. And I started to smell really bad and I got really embarrassed. So. I asked Missy if I could go to the toilet. By this time, I didn't really have my pain problem anymore. But I asked Missy if I could go to the toilet and I took a glue stick with me. I took a glue stick and I was like, hey, it looks the same. It looks like a roll-on deodorant. This could work. So I decided to roll the deodorant on under my arms. It got really sticky, but you know what? I actually didn't smell. The smell went away. From, I, I think the glue acts as some like layer or a cover. I don't know, but... The whole day, I started to have fun with the stickiness. I I don't know, I made a game out of it. I would go like this constantly, and I'd go like this, and I'd touch it, and it was really gross. But I really enjoyed the feeling. So for the next couple of weeks, um, glue was my deodorant. <laughs> All my music that I love is literally just like Triple J or like Hottest 100 on iTunes or something. I've never been one to like that cool like hip hop music that everyone would always have on their phone. I was never one to figure out the coolest songs first. I would always have to like copy it off people and like all my friends would walk around with their little flip flop bones with all the cool songs and I just wouldn't even know what it was. And I'm really bad with lyrics. Like I don't know the words to even my favorite songs and it's really bad, but I just I just like singing and I like feel good songs. Right now, I'll show you my, my fave songs. That's gone, I use Spotify. I actually pay for it. It is a lot better, but like, uh, it takes my internet. So I'm like, why am I paying for you? But you still take my gigs. <laughs> what? everyone's questions but we would be here all day and we both wouldn't want that but like I said I do frequently talk to you guys and answer questions on my tumblr so I'll pop my URL just here and you guys can just head over to that and ask any questions that I haven't answered on here if you are new to my channel hi hello make sure that you do subscribe because it really supports my channel and all you regulars I love you I love you also make sure that you follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on any of um, my <laughs> um, stuff yeah Okay, okay now, bye. I love you all. I'll see you next time, okay?